Hi, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Premier Elements, and here we are in Premier Elements. Today we're going to look at one of the most common effects requests we get here at MoviePix.com. How do you do this? How do you highlight a person in a video? In other words, you've got a crowd of people, you want to highlight or spotlight one person. How do you spotlight that person then have that spotlight follow that person around the video frame? We're going to do that here on a simple scale. We've got just two people. But but I want to follow that blonde woman on the left the whole way across this video frame and around as she goes by. To do that we're going to use the spotlight effect and that's part of the lighting effect. So go over here to the effects panel, type in lighting effects, there it is. Now the lighting effects will create a spotlight on your video. In fact if you look here you can create and animate separately up to five spotlights on your video. There are a number of settings for this lighting. I can go here to spotlight number one that we're going to be working with. The major radius is how wide that spotlight is and the minor radius is how sharp the distinction is in the edges. In other words, how much brighter is the inside of that spotlight than the outside. For now, I'm just going to be concerned about major radius mostly. And I can also control, if I go down here to the bottom, the master control, how dark it is around the spotlight. And I'm going to do that by just lowering the ambient intensity there we go. And now it's very easy for me to spotlight the woman and to make it very clear the person that I'm highlighting with this effect. So let's go back up here to the top. We're going to now create keyframes for the position of this light. Now I could do this manually by controlling the center of the light. You can see by scrubbing across these numbers or typing in numbers for the position. I want to show you a more intuitive way to do it. If you just select the lighting effects here in the applied effects panel, you see that you get like a little bullseye here, a circle showing us the spotlight itself as well as in the very center, you can see it turns into a light bulb when I hover over it. This is the bullseye. This is the center of the spotlight. So I'm going to just drag it over till it's right over the woman's face. Once I've done that, I want to toggle on the animation. So let's turn on the keyframe controller or open up the keyframe controller. And now this will be my starting point. So this is where I'm initially going to turn on the animation keyframes. Click on toggle animation. That creates my initial keyframes for this spotlight. And now what I usually do is I go right to the end and then move that spotlight, once again, dragging on the very center of it onto my final position. And then all I've got to do is fill in the gap in between. So all I need to do is just sort of follow through here and every time that spotlight falls off that woman, drag it back into position. And you'll see as I do, it's going to create another keyframe there on the timeline for the position. Just continue to move through here. Every time it moves off her face, move it back onto her face. And the program is going to create the animation. Now you may notice that if you look over here, the spotlight seems to be getting smaller. That's because the woman is closer to the picture. We can also animate the size of that spotlight. So I'm going to make it larger just by dragging on the outside here. And then I'm going to move the playhead back a little to right when she starts to get closer and then I'm going to make it small again. There we go. So now what's going to happen is the spotlight will remain small until she gets close to the camera and then it's going to get much larger. So I can go through here almost frame by frame using the arrow keys on my keyboard left and right and go through frame by frame. Just make sure that spotlight stays on her a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Depends on how precise you want to be with this. Once we're done, we can preview it. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Now you can see all the little lines on there and that can be a little distracting. Just click off that clip there on your timeline and those will disappear. Let's move this back to the beginning. Always a good idea to render first by pressing the enter key whenever you add effects. That'll just take a second or so for the program to create a preview render. So we'll see it in its full quality. And here is our lighting effect, our spotlight effect following the woman and staying with her the whole time. Is that not cool? 
a real easy effect to create. And one of the many effects we cover in our special effects book, which is cool tricks and hot tips for Adobe Premiere Elements. The latest version is version 14. We will be updating that soon. Maybe not for version 15, but if there's a subsequent version, we will update it. So at every other version, we've got that special effects book. Or if you just want to know about all the great tools that are in Premiere Elements, check out our moviepix.com guides for Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. They're available at the Movie Pix store and at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again real soon.